Oh, truly. <laughs> Isn't it fabulous? Your Come, husband? I'd like you to meet my husband. Oh, I'd love that. So this is my husband, Roger Brown. Clay Grave. Nice to meet you. He just moved here from the Netherlands. Ah. Excuse me. Hi, are you on your way? No, a few screaming kids just livening up the party. <laughs> yes. So what brings you to Norway? Job? No, I inherited my grandmother's apartment. She was Norwegian? Yeah. And a few months ago, I chose to go into early retirement. Okay. I'm here to redecorate the apartment. So you're retired? Mm-hmm. From what? I was the CEO of a Dutch technology company. I worked with GPS sales. Excuse me. Dutch? Not Hoot by any chance? Yes, exactly. Uh, weren't they just bought up by a large American company? Amtec? You're in the business? No. Why quit? Wasn't it exciting? I won't bore you with job chatter. I'm in the recruitment business. You won't bore me with job chatter. Are you familiar with Pathfinder? Yes, of course. There are competitors. Roger, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to go. Clace. Pathfinder seeks a new manager. Someone who can stand up against foreign takeovers. Would you like a meeting? Sorry, Roger. I'm not Let's interested. Let's have a lunch. But enjoy the rest Monday of your evening. Monday at noon. We could drop the chatter and talk about other things. <laughs> a bit of art? Redecoration? A Polish handyman? Could I have a pen? I'll write down the restaurant's You're name. You're not used to being turned down. How are you? Is this a farewell present for long and faithful service? I stole it. See you then. My regards to your charming wife. Thank you. I'll have one without scampi jelly and dressing on the side. As you wish. Thank you. Will you settle in Oslo now or will you do a lot of commuting? Three and a half million, plus stock options. I'm afraid you take things for granted, Grave. Don't forget, you're a foreigner. Norwegian companies Roger, would like to... I don't doubt that your methods will work on most people, and I respect that, of course. But we both have been in this situation before. You practically dribbled over me, I... Dribbled? You drooled when we met at the gallery, and with good reason. The problem was not that I was a foreigner, but that I was not interested in the job. But you get to reflect a lot during the weekend, and I concluded that redecoration is not that interesting in the long run. So if it's okay with you, why don't we drop the charade? <laughs> hmm? Okay. I surrender. But I still need more data on you for my client. You play squash? <laughs> Are you married? Divorced. Children? Unfortunately not. Dog? Yeah. I've got one. He's in Amsterdam. In quarantine? I'll fly down to get him tomorrow. The GPS business is a tough one. You're back. Oh. That's from the army. The army? I enrolled when I was 18. After a few years, I was enlisted in an elite unit, which specialized... Specialized in what? Tracking. Tracking of? Missing people. Tracking fugitives. And the technology came from Hoot. Exactly. They produced microscopic transmitters. I had some ideas for improvements, so they recruited me. Where did you get those scars? Bolivia. And how? Were you tortured or what? No, I was lucky. I got out in time. Sounds like a film. Believe me, Roger, you've never seen this on film. When can we arrange a meeting with Pathfinder? Anytime. When are you back from Amsterdam? Day after tomorrow. Let's do it then. We developed this jelly containing hundreds of transmitters per milliliter. It adheres to everything. Invisible, impossible to remove. You mean trace? Exactly. The disadvantage 
is that Trace is hypersensitive to dirt and mud. And my personal experience as a soldier is that when you're stuck in, pardon my French, the asshole of the world, you are dependent on your equipment. <laughs> Being introduced by Brown is obviously of great significance. In the final stage, he has to give us his recommendations. Excuse me for a moment. Really good. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. And the recommendation? We have to make the decision first. What was that? Nothing is decided. There are other candidates. We have to consider the total picture. We'll get back to you. Damn it, Roger. Did we attend the same meeting? It couldn't have been better. They're ready to sign the contract. Then your chances are good. <laughs> 